Welcome back to another video. Thank you for coming back and joining me again. So this time it's a little something different, but a little bit similar to what we've already done. So this is a Mercedes Atros. This has an exhaust emissions fault on it. Um, so we're going to do the similar to what we do to a DAF. We're going to plug it in with gel test, look at the fault codes, and then go from there and decide what we need to do, whether it's a sensor, whether it's you know something else. So let's get it plugged in, and then we can go from there and we can go through every single stage of what we're going to do. So we're going to start with the usual. I'm going to plug them to <clears throat> and vehicles and Mercedes, Atros, Ford. There we go. So I'm just going to do a main system scan because I don't need to do, I'm not going to go and bother doing a full system scan. So I'll get that scanned and then I'll come back to you when we have some results. So results are in. So we've got control unit, notch NOx side sensor, after treatment, exhaust gas system output. So that's NOx after, um, <clears throat> two faults of that. So we can guarantee that that will be the fault. So if we walk around quickly, so you have two sensors on these. That is this one here, NOx before, and this little beauty in here, goes down the back there, it's NOx after. So what we need to do is, we need to get this wing off, and then I'll show you where the sensor is. So that's the wing off. Um, holding the wing on is, full m8 30 mil head bolts one two three four and then three 10 mil bolts on top so i'll um i'll now show you where the sensor is so <clears throat> there's a sensor that's a knocked after sensor so we've got two 10 mil nuts on there one two a plug on there with a clip you just pull up which follows all the way down there and then there's our little kitty there. I'm going to show you a bit better. Just there. So that's our sensor there. I'll quickly show you the knocks before. So that's the knocks before sensor there. Goes down there and then the ECU part of it is on the back of the exhaust. So not too bad to do that ones. They're pretty easier compared to these. So what we need to do now is get that unbolted get that out of there sometimes with these like they can be really tight so just be careful um if they are tight for us we normally just because we don't have to do with warranty we just cut the cut the loom and then put a socket over it so oh i've got another socket for these so we'll see how we get on with it and let's uh start getting it out because it's so tight, it's stretching open the socket we've got for that. So I just cut the wiring and there's my hand. These are normally dead tight. just pull this out these bolts become like crusty so I'll just get that and then as you can see that yellow plug on there I'll get that a bit more there you can see it just there so, Yeah. 
our knock sensor out. So there's the knock sensor out. Obviously, people are going to say, "Where'd you get it for?" But that's what we can do. So sometimes, well, we don't need them for warranty or anything, so they just get chucked in the bin anyway. So I ain't going to fucking struggle my ass off for no reason. So cut them off. We have normally got like this socket here, but it was that tight you could feel it sort of stretching open a little bit. But it's out. We're going to. Uh, Get the new one in, plug it in, and then we'll plug the gel test back in and go from there. So, this is the new Knox After. Anyone that wants to know, there's a part number 8010-153-1628. Now, if you know about Knox sensors, they're a bit of a... They're hard to get hold of these days. So, let's get this fitted. If you want to know Knox before, actually, instead of there that says 1628, it'll be 1428. So, it's pretty much an identical number, so... Let's get this bolted in and get it fitted and then we'll go for it. Let's um, get this fault cleared, so back into the truck, Sadies, Actros Euro 4, sorry, Actros 4, and then we'll do a main system scan again, and we'll come back to it. So as you can see there, <clears throat> no active faults there, so we're going to clear all that, and we will check on the dash and road test it so there's no active faults whatsoever let's go around to the front and we are all clear should be there we go we go across. No events, no problems. We'll quickly road test it and then but other than that we should be all good. So just come back from road test as sweet as I thought it would be. So that's a Mercedes Actros exhaust emissions fault. Knox after sensor member. If you look at the exhaust straight on, to the left is the 1428, that's a Knox before. To the right is a 1628, that's Knox after sensor tools you'll need for that four 13 mil bolts holding the wing on and three at the top they're 10 mils you'll need um, a 10 mil spanner and a 10 mil socket for the ecu of the knock sensor 22 mil either socket or spanner for the to take the actual sensor out they are tight so you're probably going to need a socket more than anything cut all the cable ties off pull the plug off and obviously reverse that we'll fit in the new one so that's pretty much it for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you could like, comment and subscribe, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next one.